So, the Anthem demo got off to a really bad start. Numerous things, infinite load screens, all that good stuff. But hey, at least they're not going to put in like some really bad microtransaction store that's going to bleed you dry or anything. Oh, wait. So, a screenshot has come out of uh, the Anthem microtransaction store. It's horrible. Like, seriously horrible. I mean, come on. So, here it is. Th this is what we got. We've got ourselves a screenshot of what it's going to cost to uh, purchase several things. Of course, the Anthem store is going to be somewhat cosmetic stuff. Um, or for the most part, supposedly it's going to be all cosmetic stuff, which is all fine and dandy. I don't got a problem with that. But these prices, my gosh, these prices, I can't help but sit there and think, what are you doing? I mean, heck, you've got Anthem here. Anthem is going to be a brand new IP, right? And you're going to sit there and think that you're going to be able to charge players a huge amount for an IP that may work, that may be great for like the next six months and then falls off and never gets looked at again. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time games have done that. Uh, and it's not something that's established that you can get away with this sort of thing easily. But uh, let's, let's look at this. So this, this is our item shop and we've got shards, which is your real game or real money currency that you pay for. And then you've got your, your coin, which is stuff that you get in the game. Um, and if we have learned anything from several recent games, we can go and assume, let's just assume, doesn't mean this is going to be accurate or not, that about 100 shards are probably going to be equal to $1, as it has been in past games, like, you know, 100 atoms equal a dollar, 100 of the other stuff from Call of Duty is, you know, a dollar, and, uh, so on and so forth, you know. So, if we go ahead and just go off that basis and look at this snip pit, or snip pick, <laughs> the snapshot of what we got, we're looking at about 20 bucks for a, uh, a skin for our mech. And for whatever reason, it's, it's javelins. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, it has escaped me. I knew this. Anyway, uh, you've got a skin pack, an armor pack, essentially, you know, Guardian armor pack, Dreadnought armor pack, they look great, um, stuff like that, but if the we're looking at a hundred of uh, these crap thingies, uh, these shards, shards, are equal to about a dollar, that's about 20 bucks for one of these armor packs. That's almost a third of the price of the game, and I don't know who in their right mind would pay a third of the price of the game for a piece of armor, especially when a game may not succeed. I mean, we're talking about a brand new IP here, and you expect people to pay about a third of its price. And heck, if you want to get both, that's two-thirds of the price for the game right there. We've also got a few other things off to the side, a uh, metal diamond plate, fabric canvas honeycomb, which of course you know, I, I can't help but think, this, this, is that going to be uh, regents? You know, the, the stuff that you use to build different things and, and stuff like that. Are you going to actually sell that for real money as well? Because we're looking at like 800 a pop on there. That's about 8 bucks. And then, if you want to pay it with in-game currency, ooh, yeah, you're going to be at it for a while because it's about double the price just to... Uh, afford it using in-game currency, which of course the drops we're unsure of how that's going to be because there's been several games out there now who have gone out and lowered their drops of in-game currency specifically to try and force you to pay real money for it and other things like that. But what's really great is the fact that Bioware responded. So you've got a Bioware response here and uh, from the senior systems designer on Reddit, and it says this. Hey there, 
One thing to keep in mind is this doesn't represent the final stamped for all of eternity pricing. We are iterating on our economy design and balance almost daily. So you're seeing a snapshot of one iteration. This is why we tend to not discuss things like pricing because it's one of those iteration, iterative things <laughs> that's sure to change frequently right up to the day you play the game. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a step back, look at that, and go, oh, okay, so this, this is you trying to see how much you can get away with. That's what it is. So you're wondering if people are going to be, they're, they're going to see this and go, oh, 20 bucks, yeah, I, I can do that, I see nothing wrong with this. Versus how many people are like, uh, yeah, I'm more likely to pay 3 bucks for a skin, but not 20 That's just not going to happen. But of course, honestly, I want to also say it's BS. Complete BS. When you've got a game like this, there are several things that go into designing. You know, you're designing just you know just the standard stuff from character models, uh, you know, and uh, you know the models and the looks and everything else from actions and how all this stuff works together. You know, the world and all that good stuff. But economy is also one of those things that you look into generally will have a set economy way in advance before the game launches. Considering we got the demo, and uh, in case Bioware has misunderstood what a demo is, a demo is a finished product. It is a sample of what we are getting. You have demoed it. You're going to do another demo here shortly. And if these are ready to go and they're a snapshot from these demo error, then this is what you already decided on eons ago. You know, months ago. Heck, maybe a year ago is what you decided you were going to do and you want to, and that and it got leaked. So you can uh, you're you're gonna take this chance to see if can we get away with it? Can we? Come on, maybe. I mean, are we going to pull the Call of Duty thing here where uh, we don't put it out there? At first, everybody gets the game, they start playing it. This microtransaction shop is non-existent for the most part. Everybody makes their reviews, and then like a month or so later, boom, update comes in, and there it is. Whole shop here waiting for you. And uh, this way to sort of bypass those negative reviews and of course if you go look at some people when that sort of thing did happen they took down the reviews as a result they decided you know if you're going to play that game we're just going to remove our review altogether and tell people to avoid it and they did that um, for a new IP you definitely don't want that to happen otherwise you're going to go the way of other new IPs that could have been great except for they screwed up and various different ways from how they handled things and what they did but this is just wow I mean I seriously I'm speechless it's like you haven't learned anything Bioware Bioware look Bioware I understand that you're a great company I love a lot of your games and everything and I'm sure EA is pulling more strings than we we can see from the front here but you've got to not do this. Don't do this. You've got to lower those prices majorly. Like um, one comment I did see that was talking about three bucks for one of the skins. Um, yeah, that, that would be more fair. That's something I can see myself doing. I'm sorry, but you're not, you know, an MMO that's been around for five plus years who can get away with selling them out for 25 bucks. You, you can't do that. You know, you're not League of Legends that can get away with selling a $20 skin. You're a new IP. And if you screw up that store, your new IP will be dead on arrival. The numbers are going to be great. First few months. Guarantee it. Player base is going to drop off. Your game is going to be forgotten about. And then, of course, the the more uh, one more thing real quick before I end this if you look in the upper left corner of the screenshot it has featured items or featured new items in about 29 minutes 
which is great because it really gives you that incentive that if you don't purchase this now in the next 30 some minutes you may not see it again and that's sort of one of those things to to play on your uh, on your psyche right there it's like hey look I understand you don't really want to spend 20 bucks on this right now and everything but just keep in mind if you don't there's no telling when this item is going to be featured back up on the store again because it's going to rotate out in 24 hours like say Fortnite, or you know 30 minutes or whatever time they set it for three hours from now and that is another scummy little practice right there that companies are trying to do to incentivize you to buy it. And it's like, I really like that dreadnought, but you know, I, I don't think I can pay. For, I don't want to get it right now. Oh, oh wait, it may go away in 30 minutes. Well, let me look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to eat tomorrow. Let me purchase that. And that's just a scummy thing to even think that somebody might actually go down that train of thought just to purchase a digital skin for their javelin for a game that may be may not even be relevant in six months but anyway what do you think um would you be willing to pay 20 bucks for this skin um let me know down in the comments below and if not if you're not willing to pay let me know that down in the comments below and why. I'd like to know your thoughts. Until then, I will talk to you later. See ya. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.